election for city council on, on Tuesday, the 19th. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about what, what John Crutch can bring to the table more than uh, uh, the competitor and uh, why change is good. Um, and, you know, I, I unsuccessfully ran for city council and uh, that's okay that I didn't make it, but I, I want to make sure we still have change in the city. And that's why I'm sitting here with John. And uh, most of you may not know, but I was a big supporter of John four years ago when he ran for city council. Um, John, Thanks, how are you going to make a difference? Biggest, and that's what we're talking about, right? We're talking about the future of Myrtle Beach. It's not just about change. It's not just about, you know, it's not about being abrasive. It's about bettering the future for the city and for the people of Myrtle Beach, right? Um, Myrtle Beach is one of the fastest growing areas in the nation right now. Mm -hmm. And we have to have people that have an eye for the future and that will be here sticking by it for the future to make it better for the people. Uh -huh. um, not just residents, not just tourists, but everyone that calls Myrtle Beach home and a destination, uh -huh. right? And, and that's kind of, that's what I've been working on the past seven years I've been here, working to make the city better. Mm -hmm. Not just, not just for myself, you know, it's better for me because I live here, but it's also, it's about the people. It's about the ones who don't have the opportunities that we have to get right. out there and make the city better on a day-by-day -day basis and take away from their time and their job and their families and go out and make Myrtle Beach a better place. Mm -hmm. why, why is it important to infuse new, new, new blood into the system? Uh, you know, there's a lot of forces out there saying, hey, you know, we're, we're, all, we're all doing well as it is. Right. Why, why change the forces? And, 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 and what do you say to that, those people that, that don't like a new pony on the road. You know, I road think road. the biggest thing here is, you know, it's this isn't something where I'm going to be a negative aspect to the team. I think it's going to be very positive. You know, the past yep. two years across the city, a lot of folks like the new mayor. A lot of folks like the new police chief. And right. that's change. And that's ways to do a positive thing. And, and with me, we have the opportunity to add a missing perspective. You know, the way council is right now, it, it skews to a certain to a certain age range. It skews to it. There's a missing perspective mm -hmm. of the future of our city, yep. which is the viewers here, your children, your grandchildren, they're not represented on council. The folks that are going to yeah. be the future of our city, the, the leading generation, is not represented. And quite frankly, two years ago, we made three out of the seven were changed and we're moving forward, you know? Correct. Uh, you know, put another person in there, making a four out of seven, I, I think can't hurt. I think absolutely right. You know, Greg, Greg Smith, Jackie Hatley, Mayor Brenda Bethune, all positive change agents in the past two years. And what we've seen is that in two years, we have seen some improvements. We have more to go. Yeah. And I think the only way to do that, or one of the ways to do that, is to bring that positive change about and keep building the team.